right, we are on Yadayim Perak Dalid Mishnah Gimel, third Mishnah in the fourth chapter of Masechet Yadayim. You see, it's a very, very long Mishnah from the perspective of uh, text, <laughs> from verbosity. A very, a very long Mishnah, but it's, it's not that complicated of a Mishnah. But I want to start with a concept called Halacha Lemoshem Misinai. And, uh, and uh, explain to you that this term, it's a really, really, really important Mishnah and a really, really interesting Mishnah. I think they're all interesting, but some are more interesting than others. What is Halacha Lemoshe Misina and why is this really, really so important? Uh, why is this so long? Really interesting question. So if you look at Wikipedia, Wikipedia says, Halacha Lemoshe Misina. What does it mean, Halacha? We call it Halacha Lemoshe Misina. Halacha from Moshe on Sinai. It's a, it's a munach, a term. It describes all of those halachot in the oral tradition that were given by the Jewish tradition in our Sinai from God to Moshe. That makes sense. That's what it seems to be called. The halacha given to Moshe, mi Sinai, from Sinai. So the common perception is halacha la Moshe mi Sinai are halachot that God gave to Moshe in Sinai. Okay, but I'm going to write this. Yeshe katvu. Okay, some wrote Okay, that it, the halacha is clear and agreed. It's called the halacha de Moshe Misinai, meaning shedin zeu ein bo safek. It's a din that has no question about it. So it's really interesting. We, the term halacha de Moshe Misinai, in and of itself, is a question of debate. Now I'm going to bring this up. The reason I bring it up, it's I, I, there's much more to say on this. A long shear, but in order to understand to understand the term Allah we have to we have to actually read our entire Mishnah. So we're talking about the Bo Bayom, the stuff that happened Bo Bayom on that day that they appointed Rabbi Lazar ben Azariah. In order to understand this Mishnah, I have to make you a little bit of a chart. We're going to talk about. Let's make this a little bit smaller so we can get the whole chart in. Okay, we're going to talk about the idea of what happens in Shemitah. In the lands of Ammon and Moab. So, in order to understand, in order to understand this, we, this is in Eretz Israel on Shemitah. It's also be the right to, to you can't plant anything. We live in Israel, so you can't plant anything in Israel on Shemitah. And therefore, well, so we're talking about in the in the seventh year. And therefore, the question of what the additional ties are is not relevant in Shemitah because normally in a regular year, so you have you have you have a six year cycle. Okay, you have to give, of course, trumot and ma'asarot, regular trumot to the Kohen and ma'aser to the Levi. But then in addition, there's an additional trumot, an additional 10%. In the years 1, 2, 4, and 5, you give ma'aser sheni. It doesn't really mean you give ma'aser sheni. You take ma'aser sheni, you take that additional ma'aser, and you have to bring the food to Yerushalayim and consume it there. In years 3 and 6, you take ma'aser on it, you take that tithe, and you give it to the, I'm going to close, you, you, you give it to the Maserah, and you give it to the poor. And the seventh year is obviously Shemitah. But the question isn't, so in Eretz Yisrael, there is, the question is, I'm sorry, what happens in the seventh year in the lands where they don't keep Shemitah? So in Eretz Yisrael, they keep Shemitah, there's no true in Maserah, there's no Maser Shemitah or Ani, this is talking about the seventh year. In Surya, okay, but let's look at, a, let's see if I can find a map of these areas, because you have, we're going to have five lands, Eretz Yisrael, Surya, Babel, Mitzrayim, Ammon, Moab. Ammon, Moab. Babel, we know. Mitzrayim, we know. Ammon, and Moab. The areas that are not considered Surya was the, 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 it's not Syria, but it's like the land, the northernmost lands. And then there were lands that are south of that called Ammon and Moab. I looked at the internet. It's really kind of hard to find a picture. This is uh, in the times of Kibush or Bait, I guess before Bait Rishon. I don't really know exactly. But you can see in general, right, here is Eretz Israel. Here is Aram Domestic. This is Surya. Ammon and Moab, obviously Egypt is down here and Babylonia is way over there. What's really interesting actually to note is that at least in the times of the Mishnah, even in Surya, it was us to do work because they didn't want people running to Surya in order to like moving out of there. They made it Asr. But in Bavel, where it's mutar to do work, they were still doing Trumot and Masrot, Midurabana and Takanat Nevi'im, Midurabana, meaning the ties were still being given. And Maaser Shani and Maaser Ani were also being given. Now, our Mishnah is going to ask this question. What about Maaser Shani or Ani for Ammon and Moab here? But it's really interesting to note that all of these tithes were being kept, even in Bavel, the tithes of Trumot and Maaser were being kept even uh, during the, after the time of the Korban and the Mishnah. The Mishnah says, so I'm, the, I'm already uh, pretty far in. I apologize for taking so long. Bo by Yom Amon. That day they said, Ammon and Moab, Mayim B'Shvi'id. On the seventh day, on the seventh year, what is the din of Shvi'id on the seventh year for Ammon and Moab? Gaza Rabbi Tarfon Ma'aser Ani. Gaza Rabbi Lezer Ben Azariah Ma'aser Sheni. Rabbi Tarfon said Ma'aser Ani. 
the tithe of the poor. And Rabbi Lezman Azari said, no, Maser Sheni. So we can already we can already add in. We can see in our chart that it's a machloket. Rabbi Tarfon says Maser Ani. Rabbi Lezman Azari says Maser Sheni. So I'll do that now. Here we go. Rabbi Tarfon Maser Ani. Rabbi Lezman Azari says Maser Sheni. And the reason this chart hopefully will help uh, help you follow what's going on. Because the Mishnah, and usually, gives a very, very long explanation of what's going on, what's their logical thinking. This is a great Mishnah for so many reasons, mostly a lot, a lot because the Mishnah really follows their logic. I'm Rabbi Yishmael, Rabbi Yishmael, Elazar ben Azariah, Alecha lehavi You have to prove your point. Shata machmir. You are stringent. Why is he machmir? Because it's one thing, remember, he, it's one thing to say, Maser, you have to give it to the poor. When you say ma'aser sheni, then you're making it kachim. You're making it having a holy status to begin to Yerushalayim. So you're machmir. Shekola machmir. Allah raya lelamed. If you're stringent, then you have to bring proof. You have to prove your point. Amar la belazar ben azayir. Rabbi Elazar ben azayir said, Yishmael achi, my brother Yishmael achi. It's very popular in Israel today. Achi. Ani lo shini di misedem hashanim. I didn't change out from the order of the years. Tarfon achi shina. My, 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 my brother Rabbi Tafran changed. So let's look here. Remember we said, Maser Sheni, Maser Sheni, Maser Ani. And by the years, he said, it should be Maser Sheni. So, meaning you just follow the order, you know, two and one, two and one, then this year should be Maser Sheni. So, Rabbi Tafran, who says, Maser Ani, he's off. He's the one that should prove himself. Not me. Rabbi Tafran said, Look, Mitzrayim Chutz Laaretz, Amon Moab Chutz Laaretz. Ma Mitzrayim is Chutzlar, and so is Amon Moab. Ma Mitzrayim Maser Ani B'Shviit, Af Amon Moab Maser Ani B'Shviit. So he's look, look, look. Let's go back to our chart just to make it clear, right? He says Maser Mitzrayim is Chutzlar, Maser Ani. So I also hold Maser Maser Ani, and we already know what we already know what Rabbi uh, Rabbi Lezer Ben Azariah is going to say. He uh, Shira Lezer Ben Azariah, Babel Chutzlar Okay, we know you saw the chart, you can see. Bible's also Chuzarts. Amon and Moab Chuzarts. Ma Bavel Maaser Sheni Bishvit, just like Bavel is Maaser Sheni Bishvit. Af Amon and Moab Maaser Sheni Bishvit. So um, that, that one didn't get us anywhere. So th- let, let's try another tactic. I'm Rabbi Tarfan. Rabbi Tarfan said, Mitzrayim Shi Krova Asu Maaser Sheni. Mitzrayim is closer and they, it's, they made it Maaser Sheni. Shu Anye Yisrael Nismechim Aleha Bashvit. The poor of Israel, why they make, says Rabbi, says Rabbi, uh, Rabbi Tarfan, listen, why did they make Mitzrayim Ma'aser Ani? The reason why they made Ma'aser Ani is because the poor people who are keeping Shvi'id in Eretz Yisrael, they need somewhere. So therefore, at least the people, the rich in Mitzrayim, they're already, the people who are able to produce, in, produce, 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 produce in Mitzrayim, they're able to give Ma'aser Ani. So therefore, you know what he's going to say? Amam Moab are also close. Let's go back to, let's go back to our, our chart here. Our map here. Ammon and Moab are right on the border also. Here's Mitzrayim. Here's Ammon and Moab. So therefore, they should also be giving Maaser Ani. Why? Um, here, Af Ammon and Moab. Shem Krovim. Ammon and Moab are, are geographically adjacent. Nasi, nasi Maaser Ani. Should be Maaser Ani. Shu Ani Yisrael Nismichim Aleim B'Shvi'it. Da, da, da. The Ani Yisrael should rely on them also in Shvi'it. Ammon and Moab are as the Medaria says that, Hareata Kimihanan Mamon, your Mehanan, no, I'm giving them Hana'a of money. But you're going to cost lives. Why? Kovea Ata etashamai milarid tal umatar. Kovea, you are holding back. You are preventing the, you are, you are stealing. The Karati says, Kovea, you're stealing from the, from the heavens from giving rain. Shinamar, as it says, Haikva Adam Elohim. Is Hashem going to make the determination? Ki atem kovimoti. You are holding me back. Ramartem. Bemekivanucha. What have I kivanucha? That's where the word is from. What have I stolen from you? Hama aser vatruma. You want rain? You give masro. If you don't give the masro, you don't give the maser and truma. And the Kahati says, if you look at the next pasuk, it says, Haviu et kol ha maser el beit ha'otzar. Right? Bring all the maser to the beit ha'otzar, to the house of the, to the storehouse. Im lo eftach lechem arbot ha'shamayim. And so you know that the bringing of Trumot and Ma'asrot, Ma'aser and Truma, that Ma'aser and Truma, and obviously he felt that was not Ma'aser Ani, not Tzedakah. Ma'asrot and Trumot. Then, Hashanah Kshem, I'll open up, the, I'll give the rain. So therefore, it's nice to say to the people of Amon Umo, I've given money Tzedakah to, to the poor people of Eretz Yisrael, but they need the rain. I'm Rabbi Yoshua, Harveni Kimeshi Baal Tarfon Achi, Avalon the Inyan Chadash. I'll answer Rabbi Tarfon, but not, not Linyan Tarfon, not based on what he's saying. Mitzrayim ma'aseh chadash, u'ba'avel ma'aseh yashan. Mitzrayim is something new, u'ba'avel ma'aseh yashan. Let's go back to our chart for a second. 
Okay, Mitzrayim here is Maaseh Chadash, uh, the Zikanim, right? Zikanim are the elders, the people of the Anshe Knesset Agadola before the Tanaim. Babel, the Gzeira, is, ma- is Nevim from the old times, Maaseh Yashar. So that's what he means when he says that. And we're talking about something new. Yidon Maaseh Chadash, Maaseh Chadash. Something new should be learned from something new. Va'yidon Maaseh Chadash, Maaseh Yashan. Okay, and therefore you should learn something. Uh, you should not learn something new from something old. Mitzrayim Ma'asekenim, Ubabel Ma'asek Nevim. Is Israel is from that time of the Zekenim? Ubabel some of the Nevim. Va'ani don lefanenu Ma'asek Zekenim, and are the Amon Amor of Zekenim? You don don't Ma'asek Zekenim. Va'ani don Ma'asek Zekenim. Mi Ma'asek Nevim. You should learn from Ma'asek Zekenim, like we said. You should learn from Ma'asek uh, Zekenim here from Mitzrayim, and you should do. Maaser ani, like Rabbi Tarfon. That's what Rabbi Yishua Rabbi said. Follow Rabbi Tarfon and don't follow, uh, don't follow the other opinion. Says the Mishnah. Nim nuvegamru. They counted up and they decided. Amon moah maaser maaser ani b'shviyit. They said you're right. Okay, so we're going to follow Rabbi Tarfon and we're going to do maaser ani and Amon moah. Ukshba Rabbi Yossi ben Drew Maskit. It's Rabbi Lazar ben Lod. Remember Rabbi Yossi ben Drew Maskit came to Rabbi Lazar in Lod. Amon he said. Wow, what, uh, what, what, what did you guys learn today? What was new in the Beit, Beit Midrash? Amr lo, he said, Nimlu vigamru. They decided, they counted up and decided, Amon and Moab, they should take Maaser Ani Bashvit. Bacha Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Eliezer cried and he said, Sod Hashem liriyav ubrito lehodiyam. That, that which is secret, liriyav, to, secret to God is to those who fear him. And his covenant is to tell them. Say the Amor lahem. Go out and tell them. Al Don't worry about your Al Really interesting. There's so much to learn in here. Al What it means is I'm not interested in your counting. Why? Mkubalani Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakai. I have a tradition from Yochanan ben Zakai. Sheshama mi Rabo. From his Rabbi. Rabo mi Rabo. And his Rabbi from his Rabbi. Ad halachal Moshe misinai. All the way back to this term. Halachal Moshe misinai. Amon and Moab, they have to take Maaser Ani during Shvi'id. And that's the end of the story. Beautiful, beautiful story. Why is Halacha Lo Moshe Misinai so interesting here? Because normally we say Halacha Lo Moshe Misinai is about a Dindi Araita, a tradition, as we said, that goes back generations and generations. But can it really be that, that Hashem told to Moshe this Din on Har Sinai? But can it really be that Hashem told Moshe about Amon and Moab taking off ties in Amon and Moab, the Rabbanon? During the uh, during Shvi, so really interesting. The Ratunari says, "Halachal Ravinu Lo Moshe Misinai Lav Davka." Not really. The Ein Zemin Hatorah. This is not a Torah law. Ela Kiilu Hi Halachal Lo Moshe Misinai. It's as if it's Halachal Lo Moshe Misinai. And that, that's like that's how you have to answer it. The Mishnah can't be taken literally. It's a problem not to take a Mishnah literally. Miu Betosefta. We don't have time, but if you look it up in Tosefta, Mashma. It really means very long mission. And therefore, if you're going to analyze this, what Allah is, you must take into account what this mission says and maybe come to a different understanding of the term Allah will stop here. Very long mission. Dedicate our learning to my father, Rabsim Khamanitzha Kalman. Make it a great day.